So hi, I'm Noor, a Pure and Applied Science student at Vanier and a VTV volunteer. I'm joined by a fellow classmate of mine in the health science program, Jordan Levet, whose CEGEF experience is unlike any other. So hi, Jordan. Hi, Noor. It's nice to be here. <laughs> it's nice to have you. So, Jordan, tell me what you're involved in. I've heard that you've done so much stuff during your CEGEP journey. And um, I've heard one of them is a science fair, right? Yes, of course. So ever since high school, I've actually been involved in research. It's been something that I really enjoy doing. I got to connect with people. I got to join the academic world. And it's really brought a lot to my life. And as a consequence of actually doing all this research, I have the great pleasure to actually join these competitions and meet such wonderful minds and really interact with people. So it's been really a great journey. Oh, wow. That's, that's great. <laughs> um, and uh, for the science fair, uh, what was your project about? How did you come up with the idea? Yeah, so this year, my project had to do with actually creating an artificial intelligence medical assistant. So how that was designed was all based off of already biomedical literature that was published. So essentially, it extracted key information from biomedical literature, then populated that into a knowledge graph to then create an artificial intelligence assistant for doctors, patients, or medical students. Wow. Oh my God. That, that sounds like it's, it would be something that would be incredibly useful. Did you do that all on your own or? Yes. Yeah, so this project, actually, I was glad to actually be under the mentorship of a professor from Vanya College, uh, Professor Ivan Ivanov from the math department. Who oh has yeah, been... I know him. <laughs> Yeah, he's been actually a great inspiration and he's really, uh, he's really taught me many new things and he's been pushing me to really push my limits and to pursue this project to the final end. That's incredible. And from that fair, you've won a couple of prizes, actually. Um, one of them is the McGill School of Computer Science Award, if I'm not mistaken. And the other one would be the Adric Young Innovators Award. So uh, I was really fortunate enough to win these awards. You know, there was a lot of bright minds and amazing projects at this competition. Of course, this was all done virtually, but I had the opportunity to uh, meet other exhibitors, communicate with them, and really, at the end of the day, all these prizes, uh, they, they get awarded to, to a lot of these participants, and I'm really fortunate to have been awarded these awards. And uh, as also, what else came with this is I'm fortunate enough to be going to uh, two other science fairs in the coming few weeks. Uh, first being the Hydro-Quebec Provincial Fair and the International uh, Regeneron Science Fair. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And there's a lot of work under the way. <laughs> oh, wow. And do you have any idea what you'll do for those science fairs? Or is it the same project as the Montreal Regional Science Fair? Yes, so it's actually just the same project, just developing my oral presentation, developing how to interact with exhibitors, that sort of stuff can be improved. But I, I keep getting comments. I love the criticism from others. And I'm really just taking it all in to really maximize the potential of this project. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it must be really overwhelming having to work on this huge project. And you did say you had support from uh, a Vani teacher. But I mean, how do you juggle all of this, like your science fairs, Plus, uh, I mean, health science is a difficult program. How do you not get overwhelmed? So, you know, first, I'm really grateful for the teachers at Vanier who are super understanding of my time commitments. I mean, always being clear with your communication, uh, communicating right with teachers, with peers. It's always super important and always staying on top of your things, right? School is, of course, the priority. Always need to focus on our studies. And um, at the same time, I want to make sure that my passion are aligned with where I want to pursue my career. And so that's why I do research on the side. And again, just staying organized, whether that's through writing down a schedule or, again, just communicating with people is what's really key. Oh, yeah, I definitely, I can definitely attest to that. <laughs> oh, wow. And um, your project was uh, about artificial intelligence. So I assume there's a lot of, maybe um, like programming knowledge that comes into that? Is that, uh, is that possible? 
Yeah, so the programming is really the technical portion of the project, I would say, but the science behind it really comes into how to implement these programs to accomplish a task, right? So it's kind of complex how to teach a machine how to understand biomedical text and to extract relevant information from that. So that's where the challenge really comes in. The programming is really on the technical side, but I would say more on the conceptual and the theoretical side is how to actually come up with these ideas. And you know, now coming up with science for a project, I would say, like coming up with your actual idea is actually the most challenging part of the project. Following through, you could get, you know, you could reach out, there's resources available to you, you can educate yourself, there are all these different places. But really coming up with a concrete idea that can have real life implications is the most challenging and I would say actually is the most important part of actually starting a project. Wow, definitely a tip for someone who's looking to start up a project like that. <laughs> so, um, wow. And so you've, you've done a lot of, um, well, like you said, research on the side and mm -hmm. a lot of it was like the technical uh, portion. And so can I assume that um, you want to go maybe into engineering or something related to artificial intelligence? Yeah, so that's actually a great question. Um, now with university applications on the way, I kind of need to have an idea of where I'm headed. <laughs> yeah. So, right, the, this project was an application of artificial intelligence in medicine. So I'm actually interested in pursuing a career in medicine. So specifically, because my research is really at the intersection of artificial intelligence and medicine, uh, I mean, hopefully I plan on pursuing a career at that intersection of more specifically surgery, applications of artificial intelligence in surgery. And I've had the opportunity to actually pursue research in that field as well. So it's definitely something that really interests me and something that's really relevant with, uh, you know, knowledge that's constantly evolving nowadays in artificial intelligence. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. And, um, and so you want to go into medicine. So you like biology and chemistry more than Biology has always been something that fascinated me, understanding right from such a microscopic level, the mechanisms that govern our body, that govern the way our cells interact. But at the same time, because I'm also interested in artificial intelligence, engineering, physics has always been something that I've been inclined towards. And I've always really had a strong interest in that, in these types of uh, subjects that come up in school. So both, I would say, is something that's of particular interest to me. Yeah, well, of course, it's it's always helpful to kind of broaden your horizons, right? <laughs> and so, um, can I ask uh, what you applied for in university and which university you applied in? Yes, of course. So, I've applied so far to uh, McGill University. There, I've applied in medicine, uh, dentistry, as well as a physiology undergrad. Um, I've also applied to Université de Montréal, Université de Sherbrooke, as well as uh, Université de Laval, uh, all in medicine as well. And I'm just waiting to <laughs> receive my answers, but I'm really hoping. I'm sure you'll get in. I mean, honestly, hearing what everything that you've done and the way you talk about your project, you're so passionate. And I think, I think yeah, this path is definitely the right one for you, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. I mean, it, it all comes with hard work and dedication. You really have to put your mind to it. Like there are some days where you're going to be like, oh, I'm working on this project. But I mean, I have friends to be with. I have family to hang out with. But you have a really life, fun. right? Exactly. Exactly. It's understanding how to create that balance between your social life, your school life. And in my case, my research life and really understanding where to draw the line. And I think that's super important because no matter what field, no matter what domain you plan on pursuing your career or your education, uh, really keeping that balance is super important. Yeah, for sure. I couldn't have said it better, honestly. <laughs> I think what you're, what you're doing and the way you've managed all of that is really, it's really amazing. It's really admirable. Thank you so much for taking the time to answer all these questions and tell us about your life. I'm so happy to be here with you today. Thank you so much also.